Hello to everybody out there in this great big world. Yes, this is your brother Dana coming to you from Asin Manso. Asin Manso is here in Ghana, West Africa. It is the river where the Most High Yaz people, when they were captured, took their last bath before they journeyed by foot to the castle where they were put into the dungeons held some of them up to three months before the slave ship returned to then take those that survived the first journey in the dungeon onto the ship to the Americas. So again, as I said, I wanna take you as much as I can on this journey. And today I will experience a Sin Manso, the river, where the precious chosen people of the Most High Yah took their last bath before they were shipped to the Americas. And here you can see a depiction of the last bath. That's the engraving. This, this one is engraving, branding of the captives. The branding of the captives. And here you can see the punishment. And that is the castle. The capture. transportation of the chosen people of the Most High Yah. To the slave raiding. So one of the things the Most High's chosen people did as they would try to hide being taken captive was to go out and to look at this moso plant and as you can see this would be an indication that it would be safe for them to grab some food before heading back into the caves or up into the mountains but if they came out and they would see that the mimosa plant was closed, it would indicate possibly an animal, but more than anything, that the slave masters were there. And this plant saved many, many lives.
uh, basically at the slave camp. Uh, this was where uh, the captives were made to take their last bath. The captives were made uh, to take their last bath. So when they were brought from everywhere in the community, uh, because this place was a bamboo-dominated area, they chained the captives around the bamboo trees, waiting for them to take their last bath before selling them. Now, when the time is up for you to come and have your bath, the first thing that is done to you is to use the broken, broken bottles to shave your hair so that you look a little attractive. So after that, they walk them, match them in the badges of 10 uh, to the river to take their last bath. Now this river you see over there is a very big river. Most of the times when it rains, it even overflows its banks. So basically, when the river is up, one particular part of the river is not used to wash the captives. Because the river you see over there are two separate rivers that are the same river. When we get closer, you will realize that we have one at the left hand side and we have one at the right hand side. The one at the right hand side with the current which is very high is called Amma Emisa. Amma Emisa is getting a source from the Pira River. Then the one at the left hand side is Noko Isio. It's very slippery twin. Careful. Be careful, it rained yesterday, so the whole place is slippery. <laughs> That's Tega. <laughs> I, I, can, I can fall from, from, from the spirit. <laughs> so, they were meant to wash themselves in the non conceal but not in River Emisa, because with the non conceal it is always so no matter how high the river is. It doesn't move, it's always silent. But for this part, if the river goes a little bit higher, you can't even cross because the current from this direction is so much that when you cross, you can even drown or be, or be, or be wept away. So during the rainy season, they made them wash themselves in chains and shackles in this river. Then the raiders will be on top of the hill pointing their guns at any one of them who wanted to, uh, to be smart or anyone who wanted uh, to escape. So when you try escaping, they shoot the gun at you and they kill you. Then also, there were some crocodiles also in this river. So when they push you in there, they, they use that opportunity to see who the strongest of you can be. Because everybody wanted to buy the strongest. So after washing you with the leaves of a, from the bamboo tree, after washing them, washing them, those that die are left, so the river becomes basically red. The rest that are, are left were put back and they were made to walk back to where we are standing. So when they come in here, they still make them go through vigorous exercises in addition, just to determine their strength. Because they knew that when you lost those much of blood in you, for you to perform such an act, that makes you the, the stronger. So after that phase, the next one is to smear you with palm oil and shea butter just for you to look attractive. So after looking attractive, the next step is to take you to the first auctioning site. Now let me, let's, go, let's go to the first auction site. I'm going to tell you something about... Now, uh, after the smearing you, they bring you to uh, the first option in front of Now, there were these big uh, cotton silk plants that was in here. Uh, it got uprooted in 1994. But we never wanted to plant that tree. Uh, we waited when Obama was visited. Our plan was we wanted him to plant again because we see ourselves as seed. So whenever, wherever we were planted, we would equally germinate. We missed, we, we missed out on Obama because of security issues. We had the opportunity to come back uh, with Pelosi and the Black Caucus. We also missed, on the, missed out on them. 
we are waiting for the uh, prime, uh, is it the vice camera Aris? We open that maybe with a 10 she can plant that tree again. Uh, and also, when you look uh, uh, right there, you can see that there's this small bamboo trees on the ground. Now, the question is whenever you come to your uh, ancestral roots, what do you have to add? In addition to make your place sacred and reverend so it is another opportunity to give them they are they have a uh, sibling uh, that we saw and we give it to you and we give you a place to plant a tree planting a tree for it growing up goes through a lot of spiritual <laughs> spiritual journeys a lot of physical physical experiences so when that tree grows the person that planted the tree would have its name or a name on the tree so that whenever you also say in your story you can tell the world when i came to my ancestral route as a sacred place i also made sure the place was preserved so the plant you can see we didn't nobody planted this but we have given people the chances to plant other ones all in here now when they bring you to the plant they just chain you around the tree for your first auction naturally our brothers and sisters were bought with things that are really not important Use clothes, tobacco, guns, gun for the mirror, and what have you. So, after buying you, uh, they take you to the next step, which was the branding section. That is the ownership stage. Uh, the merchant, depending on how much, uh, what alphabet he wants on you, they put a metal in fire, they stab it at your back, your chest, or your shoulder as a source of education. After which, those of them that have made the trade, they will be put back into their chains and shackles, off to the dungeons. But those that couldn't make the trip will be just killed and buried right there. So all these ones that you are seeing are graveyards of our ancestors. Mm. Now, when I take you a little bit downwards, as my sister uh, was in the army to tell you about something in there, uh, this community is a... <laughs> and look on the rocks. I don't... Right on the rocks or in here. I don't know whether you have seen it. You could see yeah, shiny spots. Yes, all in it. Oh, yes. Wow. This yes. is basically traces for you to know there's money under there. But for us, what we get from this particular sacred place of ours, we prefer for it to be like this because we believe that uh, our Almighty, the uh, Most High, knew why this have to be like this. So we want to preserve it to be like that and practice our spirituality on its Easter. So this is it. Now, this river does a lot of things. Uh, we use it for cleansing when we go through bad times. When you've done something bad, you come in here, you cleanse yourself. This river protects the, the, the indigenous people from this community. And this river is a, is a mother. So whenever you ask her something, she gives it to you. So whenever we do the cleansing and other things, before we leave here, we put our wishes across put it on a leaf, let it go to the one it's the concern. And when your wishes are coming to pass, you should always never forget to pour a ramp and say you thank the most high. So that's all. So basically, I know everyone have wishes. Uh, so you too, I'll give you the leaves. I don't want to know what you're wishing for, just say it on it and drop it on that. And I'll give you one to also say your wishes. But If you look into the water here, you can see evidence of gold. But as he said, they have chosen spirituality over riches. And that the Most High Yah knew that his children were as precious as gold. You wanna get me washing my face with it? And this is Tega.
It's a great day, and uh, I pray our bond is going to be forever. And the same way, yeah, I've given you the revelation to lead. Uh, I would also lead from my own corner, so that tomorrow, every one of everybody in the world is going to see this prophecy. So thank you for coming. And today, I have to change your name. Yeah, what day were you born? 1972. The day? You know the day? Monday, November 5th. Um, what day? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, we're going to find it today. Wednesday. Then, then uh, you your I day. should know it. You should. <laughs> oh, sun, sad, no, Sunday. Sunday. Sad, so Sunday you are Akwesi. Or Akwesi. It's two. You can either choose Kwesi or you can choose Akwesi. Akwesi. Yes. Yeah. yes. So that is your name. Try mention everyone you go with when they ask your name, tell them you are Akwesi. 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 So Akwesi. everywhere you go, you, you ask, you tell her, what's my name again? Keep, keep practicing and Akwesi. you get Akwesi. Yes. I am now Akwesi. Yes. So thank you for coming. Thank you. And it's been a blessing. a great day and uh, I pray our bond is going to be forever and the same way yeah I've given you the revelation to lead uh, I would also lead from my own corner so that tomorrow every one of everybody in the world is going to see this prophecy so thank you for coming and today I have to change your name yeah what day were you born 1972 the day you know the day? Monday, November 5th. Um, what day? Which Monday, day? Tuesday, Wednesday. No, we're going to find it today. Wednesday. Then, then you get your I should day. know it. You should. <laughs> oh, sun, no, Sunday. Sunday. Sad, so Sunday you are Akwesi. Or Akwesi. Akwesi. It's two. You can either choose Kwesi or you can choose Akwesi. Akwesi. Yes. Akwesi. Yeah. Yes. So that is your name. Try mention everyone you go with. When they ask your name, tell them you are Akwesi. Akwesi. So everywhere you go, you, you ask, you tell her, what's my name again? Keep, keep practicing and Akwesi. you get Akwesi. Yes. I am now Akwesi. Yes. So thank you for coming. Thank you. And it's been a blessing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. <laughs> okay, he gave her, um, he, Dana's one on Sunday. And Sundays are Quasis or Aquasi. And I said Aquasi because that's the name of my uncle. So his name is Aquasi, spelled A K W E S I. And um, in Ghana, we name according to the day you were born, which is significant. Every day has a significance. And Sunday is the day of man, and Sunday is the day of rest. So it's just uh, means that, you know, he's supposed to take this easy in his life and things are not supposed to be so difficult for Sunday balls and since it's a day of man it means he's you know like um, God created man for dominion over the earth and to take care of the earth so basically that's the attribute for crazy Sunday balls thank you Tega you're welcome honey well, hello to everybody out there in this great big world. Yes, this is your brother Dana coming to you from Cape Coast, Ghana, West Africa. And I just want to take a couple of minutes to introduce to you a video you are about to see of an experience that the Most High Yah blessed me with today. Blessed me with this great honor and privilege that will forever go down in my heart as one of the greatest days of my life. My mom and I took a 35 mile journey up to the last bath where we saw the river that the chosen people of the Most High Yah after traveling 300 miles bathed in before they were sold, branded, and then taken to the castle 
to where they would await their deportation among the, the slave ships to the Americas. And as we were walking down the path, I was walking with the tour guide who was actually the overseer. And in our conversation, it was revealed that he is in the truth. That he knew that the slaves were the chosen people of the Most High Yah. And there was a bond that took place between him and I. After the, it was over the tour, we were getting ready to leave. And Prophet Kofi said, Brother Dana, it is on my heart that together we will plant this seedling, this tree, as a testimony, as a prophecy. And so you will see this video of this tree that was planted in my name, not the name of Dana, but in the name of Aquasi, my new given name. That today on Friday, the 19th of April, 2021, a tree was planted in the courtyard that led to the river where the precious chosen people of the Most High Yah took their last bath. And that this seedling was planted so that it would grow. And what an honor it is for me to be able to have this memory, this legacy, that it is my desire that my life would plant seeds that would grow of the truth of who the true chosen people are. And that although this was the last bath of your ancestors, may this tree represent a new beginning that you shall and you will come back, not only to claim the land that, was, that you were taken from, but to claim your true identity. And so I just wanted to share with you this, this incredible, incredible honor that I had today. And I look forward to the years that the Most High Yah will allow myself and you to journey back and to see this seedling grow into a tree of a new covenant of a, of a bond where myself and my people will recognize the beauty and the true identity of you the chosen people of the Most High Yah. I just don't have words to express what is stirring in my heart. But I would like to share this moment that was recorded with you. So that together we can rejoice in this revelation and that we are entering into a new season where you, the chosen people, the Most High Yah, will return to your rightful place. Shalom.